Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to train our back as usual with a sprinkle of little bit calf work and core work of course. Personal choices, you may very well skip them if you feel you don't require it. But I would suggest it even otherwise because you can never go wrong in training your calf muscles. Great muscles to train every day and they recover pretty quickly also. Now to start off with, as usual, we are going to start with dynamic stretching, which for me at least involves the greatest stretch, five to four to five repetitions actually, each side, followed by a deep squat sit for at least few seconds, and then the bird dog pose to further strengthen my core just before I start lifting any weights. This actually started helping me a little bit more. I of course, this video is shot a little bit in the past. So now I feel that I'm a little bit more stronger in terms of commanding weights, at least when it comes to squats and also T-bar row, which I'm going to perform today. So yes, definitely helping in terms of stabilizing my core and, you know, making sure I don't have any kind of uh, shortcomings while pushing weight around. So definitely recommend everyone to practice this hardly takes four to five minutes pre-workout good way to also get a little bit of blood flowing into your entire body i would definitely not recommend cardio before workouts but if you want to you can do it for five minutes i guess now for the first exercise we are going to do t-bar rows bent over t-bar rows four sets 15 repetitions with break of up to a minute as you can see, the lowering part, the eccentric portion of the exercise, we go as slow as possible and pull back up. We try to be a little bit explosive as um, I would say if you are able to push more than 15 repetitions, it's time to increase the weight. So I always prefer to use smaller plates. So it gives me a lot more depth because I have long arms. So I immediately hit the ground so I don't get stretched or I have to stand a little bit straighter, which I don't want to because then my upper back will be doing the majority of the job. I want my entire lats to spread out and my upper back to work too with a little bit of lower back isolation work going on. So smaller plates help me go low and get that deep stretch. As you can see here, completely my back muscles and my shoulder blades completely rolling forward. And then as I pull back up with my elbows close, my lat gets full amount of contraction. So yes, good compound movement to start off with. Post completing these, I moved on to close grip lat pull downs. Now for the close grip, you can use a close grip setup. In my gym, I have a mag attachment, so I'm using that. Otherwise, any close grip attachment or even using a single hand cable attachments, two of them together would also work fine. The important part is to keep your elbow slightly bent, even in the furthermost point, so that you are focusing more on the stretch of the lat so you want to stretch your lat to go all the way out instead of straightening your arms out also again have slightly longer arms so if i stretch my arms completely out the weight hits the ground so i keep slight elbow bend of course it keeps my bicep slightly engaged but not much it doesn't really affect because i have good mind muscle connection with my lats so i'm able to contract and stretch them out consciously Great exercise, three sets, 20 repetitions, keep pushing the lower part portion. And as you can see, as every time I stretch out how my upper back and my side lats pull out, the styrations are starting to come out as much as possible, at least a little bit proud of that. Now, post completing these, we move on to a little bit of calf work, which is completely a personal choice. A even if you prefer to do it, the kind of calf work which you want to do is also a personal choice. You can do it on leg press, you can do it while standing, you can do it seated calf races, donkey calf races, anything which you wish to do, if you wish to do. Otherwise, you can definitely skip this exercise and prefer to do anything else which you want to do other than this. I do three sets of these. I go as many repetitions as possible, full range of motion. So my heels drop completely down. And from there, I push up completely. I try to be explosive when pushing up. And while going down, I try to control the motion. Here, there's a better angle. See how low my heels dip in. And from there, I push up completely. So, yeah. 
calf work is in progress slight increase in muscle mass i think there's only so much i can do in terms of increasing it uh, at least in terms of my uh, genetics so let's see how it goes post completing these move on to a little bit of upper back work with face pulls my favorites favorite i'm sorry about that <laughs> so this one is a great workout for your rear delt and your entire upper posterior chain so all your upper back muscles are working really hard to go through the range of motion and this is the particular way i like to do the face pulls i don't like to uh, lead with my elbows uh, yes of course while pulling the initial portion half the range of motion is with my elbows but then my wrists start leading the motion behind so then it, i kind of go into a back double bicep pose so and also trying to turn my wrist in to get that extra bit of squeeze on my back as you can see here i have been doing this for pretty long and that is the reason why i feel at least i have such a good upper back development in terms of the separation and also the thickness so definitely recommend this as you can see my back starts turning red within the second and third set as i cl come close to the 20 repetitions so a lot of blood flow also going through your entire upper trapezium and mid trapezium muscles basically your trap muscles so yes great way to increase the strength there once done with this i went on to do plank i use bosu ball you definitely need not you can also prefer to do any other core exercise i like to train on this it challenges me i know isolation doesn't improve a lot of muscle volume or strength but i'm still trying to build that overall stability part in my core and take it as slowly as possible not in a hurry so bosu ball of course adds a bit of challenge because it's a little bit unstable not in a stable ground so i need to keep balancing myself i did it twice one minute each time you can go as long as you want to as long as you're capable of if you're only able to do 20 to 30 seconds i would recommend you to do it for a couple of times or even three times if you're doing it for 20 seconds and then you take a 10 second break and do it again you would be done with the work within a minute or maybe one minute 30 seconds any other core work also can be time dependent you can always choose to do time dependent stress work for core instead of repetitions and yep that's about it we're going to finish off with simple pull-ups now the reason i'm wearing a belt while doing pull-ups is because i was not able to control my core while doing the pull-ups and i was not able to perform them properly so i put on a belt to engage my core a lot better it was just a little bit of fatigue from the plank work so i just put on a belt so that i was getting a little bit more core stability while pulling myself up once i was failing with my pull-ups i started doing reverse shrugs to go to absolute failure so i have done that thrice so as many repetitions of pull-ups wide grip of course as you can see i was taking the wide grip because there was a lot of uh, close grip work i've done initially so the last few things i have done with a wide grip to make sure i balance it out anything else no i think that's that's pretty much it for today we are done we are going to stretch out we are doing going to do a four stretch basically put on some weight and then hang there for as long as possible the challenging part was my calluses started giving up i started getting a burn on my calluses so i had to a couple of times get down and mount again so you can do this without any weight also if you don't have weight belt in your gym you need not do it or you can hold a small dumbbell in between your legs to add an extra bit of weight to your own body that's it for today i hope you liked the workout if you did please do like the video and if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please do subscribe i would appreciate it a lot if you have any feedback please do drop them in the comment section i would try to incorporate if there is any exercise feedback in my future videos thank you once again for watching i hope you had a great workout i at least did my back feels great I'll see you in the next video. Till then, have a good day.